Alrighty, thanks for checking back in for part two. I'm gonna try to do at least maybe four or five parts of this build process. The shorter the better because I know YouTube likes shorter videos and I don't wanna lose you guys. But anyways, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna finish taking off all of these panels off all the walls. I wasn't planning on doing that. I was gonna keep it together, but I want to know how many uh, beams I need for that side to repair it. And then when I take it to inspection, I just want this thing to be bare. I'm gonna also remove the roof lights on both sides and just have this thing down to the bare uh, steel structure like here. All the insulation, I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna reuse it. Uh, I'm not gonna record me working on it because I don't have a tripod yet. I keep forgetting to go buy one. But anyways, I will uh, do some work and I will update you guys as I go along. Alrighty, so as I'm removing this, uh, this side is looking really good. Uh, this steel, I was thinking of replacing it, but I don't think I have to do anything with it because it's in really good condition. Like I showed before, there is already wiring, which I'm going to keep in place. And also, these uh, these sheets are really thick and they're really nice. The one that was right here is really nice. This one was really nice. Looks like it's going to be really nice. So now I'm, I'm going to be able to reuse these two. I just have to uh, sand these when they're out. They have wallpaper. And that just peels, so I'll probably just sand it or something. And then just apply new wallpaper on it, and that should uh, work pretty nicely on here. So I'm going to continue working. Like I said, it's alright, I can't record me doing it, but I'm trying to do it as fast as I can with the equipment that I have. Alrighty, so the whole camper is gutted out now. As you can see, we are left down to the studs and the outer skin. I removed and saved all the insulation. So as you can tell over here, uh, this type of construction, it's kind of like a, not technically a C channel, but like a, uh, I don't know what, what I would call it, but I'm gonna have to cut all this back end off basically and actually add two by, I'm thinking of going by two by three rectangular steel around to make the frame for the actual ramp. All this uh, steel that's gonna be in there, I'm gonna scrap that and I'm gonna use this to rebuild this wall. I'm thinking from here, back uh the studs are still in good shape they just got kind of pushed in from the accident so i have to figure out how i'm going to bend that back out and get the correct length from this wall to that wall and then obviously over here is where the main damage is at i have to replace those studs and actually fill them in because i'm only going to have probably one window there and that's going to be it because the restroom will land right here I'm thinking of making a, uh, it's gonna be probably a three by four inch restroom since there is a shower pan that is 32 inches, which I think are is three feet. Yes, it is three feet actually. So it'll be the shower, shower pan right here. And then there'll be a little toilet right here because I really do want a restroom in this camper out of everything. I'm not really looking to put a stove in here since I never cook inside. I basically just want a restroom, maybe a table right here and a bed that will drop down over here somewhere but yeah guys so this is it for right now the next step in the process is going to be to remove the floor uh this board is all right this board needs to be replaced but it's really really springy that backboard can be saved but i'm gonna have to flip them around since these are really stained with all this crap from the painting but that's going to be it for today I will uh, do some more work and add more to this video. you guys saw how easy it was to remove one side it was a little heavier than i thought so i dropped one of the lights but thank god no, the bulbs didn't break but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and remove these i'm not going to show it since it's exactly the same as the other side all righty so now these uh lights have been removed i'm gonna start working on the floor because i know i do have to do some repairs to the frame because it is cracked in some areas and i just want to gusset it 
wherever it needs it. So I already took out that front little piece just to try it out. It's not that difficult. Now I'm gonna try out to take this little part out and then this part, and then I might leave the back end just for right now. That way I have some, something to step on since I don't really have to work on there yet. And then that should be it for the floor. Alrighty guys, so the full floor is removed and I did find a little bit things that are a little concerning, but mostly everything that I found, I can fix it with my skills. But anyways, uh, the first things first, I need to gusset and uh, strengthen up this little area up there. That seems to be uh, one of the strongest area on the trailer where all the weight goes. So I'm gonna have to gusset that even more, make it a little bit more rigid. And then back here where the center support for the tongue comes, it's a little questionable. I might gusset it, uh, I might just leave it. And then especially right here, I, do, I really do wanna gusset this because I, I don't just like that. That's the only point of contact to the frame. Here looks like it did crack again. So this frame is kind of weak, like I predicted. I really didn't uh, want to do a whole uh, subframe under here, but this is what it's looking like it's gonna have to be. I think uh, I did buy a piece of two by two steel, which I was just gonna use from there to there. That's six feet long, but I'm gonna have to scrap that idea. Then I'm gonna have to buy a, a 20 foot length and then just weld a 10 foot from there all the way back because the frame is not square. It measures 62 inches from the outside of the I-beams in the front. And then from the back, it's 61 and 3 eighths. It's missing a quarter of an inch um, at the end over there. So I don't know what happened in the making of this trailer or if it's had a hard life and it got kind of unsquared. But as you can see, it's kind of, it's really ugly. I really don't know what's going on here or what they did. So I was trying to cheap out on the steel and just buy some of it but i guess i'm gonna have to buy a whole subframe or buy steel to make a subframe i don't think it's gonna cost a lot more i think i'm gonna have to spend like maybe another 100 150 dollars on steel for the frame and this should get the frame up to par and up to my standards i'm gonna have to remove uh probably the center cross beams where the mostly affected area is maybe even that one since i do have to weld that crack that's there because I do have that 10, uh, that 10 foot piece of steel that I could just line the whole bottom with. So that's kind of my plan right now. It's gonna turn into more of an invasive repair than I thought, but it's fine because I'm cheap. And this, like I said, only cost me 250. So I'm willing to do this work for this amount of money that I've spent so far. But yeah guys, so right now, I really don't know what I'm gonna do next since I really don't have steel. So I might just stop here and come back to it and on the next go around, start repairing this frame. But all right, I will check back in or I will update you guys uh, when I do something else.